Breaking news is first at nine. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. And I'm Steve Eager. It's nine o'clock. An innocent driver has been rushed to the hospital after being hit by a man who is speeding away from police tonight. Fox 4 is ahead. Our first on Fox 4 with details about the crash and the chase, too, is ahead. We'll see around 6.30 tonight, Carrollton police say they pulled over a driver less than a mile away for a traffic violation. After about five minutes during that traffic stop, police say he realized they realized he was driving a stolen car and then he took off. Near, after nearly a two minute chase through residential streets, police say the suspect threw, blew through a stop sign going west on Hay Meadow and T-boned a black SUV going southbound in the center lane on Josie, leaving it on its side. Suspect's silver car eventually crashed into a brick wall. The suspect was taken to Parkland with serious injuries. As for the innocent driver, he was trapped with his SUV on its side, and it looks like a convertible now because crews were forced to cut the roof off to get him out. He was taken by care flight, but is expected to be okay. And as they were taking him away from the scene, he was responsive, his eyes were open, he was talking the whole time, they were working to get him out of the vehicle. And he even appeared to be texting or on the phone um, as they took him to the helicopter. So uh, hopefully all indications are that his injuries aren't as serious, but we'll have to see. The SUV's driver's wife tells us she talked to him and says he's okay. She tells us they had plans to celebrate her birthday tonight, but decided to drive separately. She was on her way to meet up for dinner when she drove past the crash and pulled over after the husband called saying he was involved. Now, Carrollton police say the suspect was going at a very high rate of speed. How fast is what accident investigators on scene are trying to figure out right now? They estimate southbound Josie will be closed for at least the next hour. Steve? And Sahid, what can you tell us about the area where the crash happened? Well, we do know that Josie Lane here is a very high traffic area, especially around 630 the time the chase slash crash happened. We also know that there are a lot of residential homes around this area. Investigators say with a lot of kids on spring break, they say this could have ended up a lot worse, but they're thankful that it didn't. Absolutely. Thank you.